So TikTok has a pretty confusing way that it goes about bidding and billing. This basically leads people to use the wrong bidding goals and optimization objectives and ultimately leads people to wasting a lot more money than they need to. Don't worry, my name is Neil and in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down all of the different bidding options that TikTok has available and basically telling you what are the best situations and when you should use each. Now, before we jump into the video, I would love if you could help the YouTube algorithm by liking this video. It really would mean a lot to us. It allows us to continue putting out lots of educational content about TikTok ads right here on YouTube completely for free. All right, what you need to know is that there are four primary bidding methods on TikTok and that you can further optimize those bidding methods with three specific bidding strategies. Don't worry, I'll explain all of them in detail. Let's cover the four bidding methods to start off with. Well, the first one that you have is CPM. Now, if you've run ads on any other platform, you know what this is, cost per mile or cost per thousand impressions. Essentially what this bidding method is, is the bid that you're willing or the price that you're willing to pay for a thousand impressions on the platform. So you can essentially go to TikTok and say, hey TikTok, I'm essentially willing to pay $20 for you to show this ad and for a thousand impressions based on my targeting options. Now you have to keep in mind that this bidding method does not have any optimization other than what you pick in terms of your targeting. That means TikTok is basically just going out there and trying to get as many impressions for your budget as possible. And because there's no optimization, meaning TikTok's not really going out to get conversions, all it cares about is impressions. And because of this, this bidding method is pretty limited, even in its use cases. This bidding method is actually only available with one campaign objective, which is reach. So the only time that I recommend that you even use this bidding method is if you are doing remarketing campaigns and you're combining this campaign with a reach objective. That's probably the only time that I would even mess around with it. However, as you will find out in the rest of the video, there are a lot more cost-effective bidding methods that you should be employing with your ad strategy. Hey guys, before we continue with the video, I quickly do wanna take a second to talk about today's video sponsor, which is me. <laughs> more specifically, the TikTok ads masterclass that I put together. Now, a lot of you already know this, but TikTok ads are the hottest thing in advertising right now, and rightfully so. I would kind of compare them to say Facebook ads in 2015, 2016, they're that good. So I put together this masterclass, which is designed to bring anyone up to speed and set them up for success with TikTok ads. And right now you can take advantage of our special introductory launch pricing and get the masterclass at a massive discount. If you are interested, check the link in the description below. And with that, let's jump back into the video. The second bidding method that I wanna cover is OCPM. Now the name might be similar to CPM. However, I wanna make a distinction. OCPM or optimized CPM bidding is kind of like CPM bidding, but with a big caveat. So with OCPM, your bid represents the price that you're willing to pay for a thousand impressions with the caveat that you're only targeting people that are more likely to cause a conversion event. So yes, you are being built on a cost per thousand impression model. However, the optimization here allows you to actually go after a audience that is most likely to convert. So if, again, if you have run campaigns on other platforms, think of this as TikTok's version of a target CPA campaign or a conversions campaign. Now, for most of you that are running TikTok ads, this is going to be the default bidding method for most of your campaign objectives, including conversions. And for most of you watching this, what we recommend is that you use this campaign objective if you you have a lot of account data and you are seeing conversions come in because the optimization will help you get a cheaper cost per conversion. The third bidding method that I want to cover is CPV. Now, similar to say YouTube ads, this is the cost per view bidding method. Basically, this is the price that you're willing to pay for a single view. And what TikTok counts as a view is longer than six seconds of a TikTok reel. However, if your TikTok video is less than 30 seconds long, a view is counted as if someone watches the entire duration of that video. So if your video is say 20 seconds long, a view is only going to be counted if the person watches all 20 seconds or if the person watching your TikTok video interacts with it, whatever comes first, either them completing the number of seconds or interacting with the video. The only campaign objective that this bidding method is available for is video views. And because of that, honestly, I probably would never touch this bidding method. And that's because optimizing for video views on TikTok isn't a great use of your ad dollars. Even if you are going for branding campaigns or you're trying to go viral on the app, I would use a different 
different campaign objective like the community interaction objective to achieve those campaign goals so this is a pretty limited bidding option especially when you combine it with the limited campaign objective and finally the last bidding method is cpc which stands for cost per click. This is basically the bid that you're willing to pay for to get a click. Again, if you have advertised on different platforms, this is gonna be pretty familiar to you. However, one thing to note is that the CPC bidding objective is actually available for a few different campaign optimization. Again, for those of you that have run traffic on other platforms, this is gonna be pretty familiar to you. However, one thing to note is that this specific bidding method is actually available for a number of different campaign objectives, which makes it pretty handy. So far with TikTok ads, we've actually found this bidding method pretty effective for certain accounts. So the only time that I would really use this bidding method is if I knew my numbers really well. So if I was somebody that had been running TikTok ads for a while and I knew my numbers really well, meaning that I knew exactly what I wanted to pay for a click and I saw the account data coming in and I could accurately predict what my cost per click would be then I would start using this bidding objective and then the second requirement to running this bidding method is if my offer was very wide and appealed to a mass market the reason for this is TikTok's targeting isn't the most precise right now so if you are someone that's going after a huge audience and you know that your ads gonna go out to a lot of people and you don't want to overspend using this can really cap some of your costs and make sure that you're staying under your budget and you can reach your campaign goals and if you are running an offer that's super tight on margins, I would combine this bidding method with the bid cap bidding strategy. Speaking of bidding strategies, uh, let's talk about the three options you have. Like I mentioned, there is bid cap, then there is cost cap, and then finally, lowest cost. So with bid cap, you set the amount that you're willing to spend in order to get a conversion. So basically you set a bid amount, let's say $20, and then TikTok goes out there and tries to get you a conversion for under $20, and it cannot go above that $20. Cost cap is a little bit different than bid cap in that you give TikTok an average amount per conversion. So instead of giving it a hard limit, you basically give TikTok a amount that you would be comfortable spending on a conversion. So let's say you tell TikTok, hey, I want conversions for $20. So TikTok is going to go out there and it may get a conversion for $10 and then the next conversion for $30. And this is okay as long as the average of all of the conversions lines up somewhat close to what you said the cost cap bid to be. And then finally, you have lowest cost. And this is kind of like the maximized conversion on Google ads or YouTube ads. Essentially, you don't really set a bid. You're basically giving TikTok free reigns here to go out there and try and get as many conversions for your budget as possible. Now, these conversions could come in significantly under what you had thought, or you could spend your entire budget without getting a single conversion. So let's quickly talk about when to use each specific bidding strategy for each situation. Now, if you are completely new to TikTok ads and you maybe have never run traffic on other platforms, what I recommend is that you actually go with the lowest cost option just because you won't know your numbers you don't know what bids to set and this is a great way to get conversions to start rolling into your account so that you can start making those optimizations a little bit later on what i would do is take a look at your ad account every single day and make sure that tiktok is not blowing your budget and similar to other platforms when you see that conversion data coming in you can actually switch over to cost cap now on tiktok we've actually found that the number of conversions that you need is a little bit higher than some of the other ad platforms on on Facebook, you can get away with anywhere from 50-ish conversions. On YouTube ads, it's usually at 100-ish, 150. On TikTok, we've actually found that you probably need two to 250 conversions. And that's probably because the TikTok pixel is not as seasoned as some of the other ad platforms. You really need to give it the extra data to start optimizing on the different bidding strategies. Now, if your business is running on really razor thin margins and you don't really care about scale, you care more about getting the most ROI for your dollar as possible well in that scenario i would recommend looking at the bid cap bidding strategy however you definitely do want to be careful with the bid cap strategy because sometimes if your bids are too low your ads simply won't spend and those are your tiktok bidding strategies and bidding methods covered if you want to learn how to target on tiktok watch this video next